The Walt Disney Company is standing tough after being targeted by hackers. I will have my revenge. Hackers claim they have the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie for ransom. They are threatening to release it in segments if Disney doesn't pay a huge ransom in Bitcoin. Company officials say they won't pay up. This news comes as many countries are still recovering from a massive hack attack. KPIX 5's Melissa Kane on the Bay Area company trying to track down who is responsible for this massive global hack. Melissa? Yeah, around the world, hundreds of thousands of computers have been hacked by that WannaCry virus. I sat down with the CEO of a Bay Area security firm called Symantec, and he told me that there are signs that North Korea is behind the attacks. Right on the heels of a ballistic missile test, North Korea may have deployed a different kind of bomb, a computer virus called WannaCry. Symantec CEO Gregory Clark. Sometimes it's a... Uh email where someone says, hey, I've mailed you a spreadsheet, it's encrypted, type in this password. So then you type the password in, it says run, you press run, and then that code runs on your machine. Once it gets into the computer, the virus encrypts a person's files, turning them into gibberish. And to turn them back, the hackers demand money, about $300 in bitcoins. So we think that the number is you know, somewhere sub $100,000, and uh, you know, primarily because there's some problems in the actual malware itself that in, 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 in getting, getting that done. The Lazarus Group is a hacker gang with ties to North Korea, and Symantec discovered Lazarus Group signatures in the WannaCry code. Some fragments or snippets or pieces of the technology that were definitely linked to a Lazarus Group who were implicated in the 80 plus million dollars that was taken in a bank heist in Bangladesh and the Sony Pictures thing which definitely has a tie to North Korea. Although Clark is quick to point out that the evidence so far is not conclusive and it could be fake. Maybe it's like a bank robber that puts on a fake set of gloves with fingerprints on it, leaves fingerprints around, tries to blame someone else. That's definitely a, a, a thesis. Now, this particular hack doesn't affect Mac computers, but it is still alive and well and may still hit people's PCs. Clark says that no matter what kind of computer you use, stop ignoring and delaying those security patches. We've all been there. Your system tells you that you need to install an update. He says you've got to stop what you're doing and install it. In the newsroom, Melissa Kane, KPIX 5.